Alright guys, I'm here at H-E-B getting ready to make these stuffed bell peppers. So, I have to come and get some ingredients, which is some shrimp, uh, asparagus, uh, they have this here, this, seafood magic, and the poultry magic, that's to make the uh, shrimp stock. So, and some ground beef, so we're going to see how this is going to turn out. Hey D Squad, it's your girl Diana getting ready to do uh, yeah. uh cooking for y'all guys. I'm gonna be making some New Orleans style <laughs> New Orleans style stuffed bell peppers. Uh so far I have the ingredients. Hopefully my phone will go dead because it's like on 20%. But these are some of the ingredients that you have to have right here. Let you know. This right here is to make shrimp stock. This is your Trinity. That's bell peppers, onions, and celery. This is the shrimp. This is the bell peppers, and these are some of the seasonings that we're going to be using. This is the seasoning that we're going to be using. Your stick of butter. And you also need to go ahead and have your water boiling. This water here is for the bell peppers because you have to boil them in advance. And this one right here is for the shrimp stock. So let's go ahead and get this started. And um, yeah, so let's do it. So because we have to do the shrimp, this is just the heads and the, and the uh, shell of the shrimp. This is what we use to make the, and I am, you make, you pour this in there for 40 minutes to boil the, uh, to make your stock. So basically you don't use it, you're just using it just to get your stock together. So you're going to boil this for 40 minutes. Um, and so this here, you got to put some seasoning in it. So hold on. Okay, so this is what you're going to put in. You're going to put in the Chef Paul uh, Magic Seasoning Blend Poultry. And, oops. Hopefully that wasn't too much. These big old hoes. Y'all got to be careful. Anyway, mm, that smells really good. And then uh, the next one you're going to put in here is the Seafood Magic. You're going to put that in here. And basically this is what's going to give you a stock flavor. This one a little thicker than the other one. Alright, so we got that in there. We're going to stir this up. Can you have me a spoon? We're going to mix this up a little bit. Remember, this has to cook for at least 40 minutes. So while we're doing letting this cook, we're going to start working on other things. All right, oh, it smells good already. So, yeah, so we're going to let that cook, guys, while we go ahead and start on what's next. All right, let's go ahead and get to the next thing. The most important thing to getting any food done is prep time. So I already prepped. Now I'm going to clean my shrimp, devein them, get the little black thing out of them. You know what I'm talking about. Get that out of there. I already cut up my, my vegetable that's going in it and going to get ready to cut up and pull out the core out of these here. Now you see two, four, six, which is when you cut them in half, it's going to make 12. So let's go. All right, guys, what I'm doing now, I'm just basically, you want to get this out, this little, you want to take that black stuff out of your shrimp. Take that out and rinse it out. Basically, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm deveining the shrimp because uh, we don't want that in here. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So you want to clean that out. Make sure that's cleaned out. Okay. Okay. okay, so now what I'm going to do is get ready to cut the bell pepper in half. Hopefully y'all can see me. But just cutting that bell pepper in half. Just like this. And we want to get this part out. The core part. Going around that little part there. And got to do that in all of them. And pull that. Well, let's hope I got it right. Let's cut it right there. Yeah. This here you want to get out. This is what you want to get out. All those seeds. And then you want to empty it out. Because this is what you're going to stuff. So, that's what we're working on. So, so going to do this to the next one. So, I'm going to do that to all of them. And then I'll show you all I'll show you the after. All right. All right, guys. I got the bell peppers ready. Ready, prepped, and ready to go. And there they are. Cut them in half. So the next thing I'm going to get ready to do, the next thing I'll do is, is prepare to boil them so they can boil 15 minutes. Let them boil for 15 minutes. They'll actually turn a lighter color. So that basically lets you know that they're ready. While they're boiling, I'm going to get ready to go ahead and put the ground beef on. Season it up with the seasoning with the Tony's accent. Uh, get ready to season that. And then we'll go from there. So, yeah, keep on. I'm sorry. Keep on. Look at me. Keep watching. So now I'm getting ready to put the bell peppers in. As you can see, I've already started the crunch work. Yeah. So now you just put your bell peppers in. This water is already hot. I had this water preheating. 
So yeah, put them in and let them bell, let the bell peppers cook for about 15 minutes. Uh, basically, you'll know when they're ready because they'll turn a slight lighter. They'll be a little light green. You don't want them to be mushy. You just want them cooked. So okay, so yeah, that's my daughter y'all here saying. And then look at you see how the stock is got about I say about 25 more minutes on the stock. So yeah, we're just gonna let that cook. All right, so now we got our bell peppers on. We'll go ahead and turn that up to about, turn my stove up. Actually, I turned it up high. I put it on there. But anyway, so we're going to get the bell peppers cooking. That's a big one. Yeah. Let them get cooking. Let that water get in so they can pull. That water is hot. Let them cook for 15 minutes. While they are cooking for 15 minutes, we're going to go ahead and prep. And, I mean, we're going to go ahead and start on the next project, which is to go ahead and do our uh, vegetables that we have cut up already. So this is where the stick of butter comes in. As you can see, you can use salted or unsalted butter. I choose to use salted today just for the seasoning. But, um, yeah, so we have this. going to put this in a skillet. Let this cook till it gets tender so we can put it, I mean, so we can add the ground beef to it. So, let go. All right, guys. So now, getting ready to put a stick of butter. One stick of butter in here. Um, one stick of whole butter. I have my stove on. Matter of fact, I need to turn it up some. So I have my stove on. Um, I'm gonna let that butter melt. Well, we really can put the vegetables on on top. This right here is what's gonna go in there. So basically, I'm gonna go ahead and pour it because. It's so I, yeah, I'm hard working with one hand, but let me go ahead and scrape that out. It's going to be smelling like we in New Orleans in a minute. All right, so we're going to let this here get ready to start. When it gets hot, start sizzling and start stirring it up. And uh, all you basically want this to do is just to, you want it to get soft. You want it to tenderize the bell peppers, the onions, and the celery. And then we're going to add the ground beef to it. So let's go. All right, guys, some of these I'm going to pull out because if you can see how the discoloration in this one, that means that one is ready. Some of them may be ready, some of them may not. They're going to turn a little. Yeah, like this one is it's ready. You don't want to boil them till they're too soft. I can't even pick it up. That one ain't ready. That one is ready, but it's full of water. Anyway, so this is the color you're looking for, a brighter green. All right, guys, we're going to get ready to pour the stock out. You have to pour it, drain it, pour that shrimp. Some shrimp heads in there, and Dang, we're gonna see how much sauce. stock we have left from this here. Because this here, you just gonna discord, and there you go, you got you some stock. That's what we're gonna use. Probably could have used a lot more than that, but I wasn't paying attention, so therefore, I lost most of it. So, anyway, that's your, that's this. This is what we use. That's how you make shrimp stock. Yeah. And now we need to get ready to take this off the stove and move it because they are soft now. We got our bell peppers right there waiting to be stuffed. And I'm kind of mad because this one is broke. That means I overcooked it. Oh, sad. I mostly overcooked all of them. Oh. All right, so it's ground beef time. So what I'm doing now is I'm um, um, doing my ground beef. Get this cooked up, we shouldn't take that long, about five minutes or so to get this brown. And then we're going to drain the grease off of this, and as we go, we're going to add the shrimp to it, and then we're going to add those vegetables that you see me cooking up. So stay tuned. This right here is like two pounds of ground beef. My, my um, bell peppers, it's going to fill about 12, I'm going to say 11 and a half because one broke. But anyway, so yeah, so I'm working on the ground beef. It's some work into going into making stuffed bell peppers. Trust me, it is. Okay, y'all, the ground beef is ready. It's been about, like I told y'all, about five minutes. So I'm going to get ready to drain this. Make sure you drain all of that fat off your ground beef because you don't want no greasy stuffed bell peppers uh, right here. It's ready to roll. Pour it in that colander and let it, let it do its thing. So that's what we're doing now. So once we get through draining it, we're going to get ready to put it back into the pan and get ready to add the shrimp. All right, guys. So now we're going to get ready to put our ground beef. Remember, we made the mixture earlier. Hopefully, we don't get this everywhere well, a little fast. And we're going to pour the ground beef into this here and start mixing that up. Cooking this in with this. Mind you, I did season my ground beef with the Tony's. Um, and I season it with some garlic. Me, I have to add I put onion powder and garlic powder. Let that cook a little bit. And uh, we're going to get ready to add the shrimp. So, yeah, here we go. 
Okay, I'm good. I had put my shrimp back in the refrigerator so they could stay cool because you don't want bad shrimp. So we're going to just drop the shrimp in here. It does not take shrimp long to cook, so that's like one of the last ingredients you want to use is your shrimp. So we're putting the shrimp in here. Make sure we got them all. And then we're going to stir that in. Oh, I got dishes piling up. Alright, so yeah, we're going to mix this in. So like I said, it does not take the shrimp long to cook. So yeah, so um, it's going to be pretty tasty. Pretty good. That's when you get a bite of that shrimp. So yeah, anyway, so this should, this should definitely fill up our little 12, actually our little 12 halves of um, our 12 halves of our bell peppers. And um, still have to add another ingredient and then we got to get ready to mix up the breadcrumbs and the, the shrimp stock and we'd be good to go. So let me let that cook a little bit, another about another five minutes and then we'll go to the next thing that we're supposed to do. Third hand to help me. Okay, what she's doing now is just stirring it up so that it can cook evenly. Um, and we're going to put about two third cups of this. Just remember, your shrimp broth that we made in the beginning. So let's put about, and then we're going to work that in. So cook that in, stir it up really good. That's your chicken stock. Remember, we made chicken stock. Well, I mean, not chicken, shrimp stock in the beginning. Yeah, there you go. Work it in, girl. Work it in. Yes, it's starting to look real good and tasty. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Let that cook for another, like, five minutes, and then we'll go to the next step. The last thing, I, we have to add a teaspoon of salt, uh, a tablespoon of Tony's. Then we're going to add some, uh, this right here, remember, this is your poultry magic. Add a little bit of that. It's almost like a teaspoon. And then you want to add your, this here. Magic sea some bleeding of uh, seafood magic. This one is a little flakier, so you want to definitely that's supposed to be like a teaspoon. So you got to kind of, and then we're gonna stir it up really good. Take your time in stirring it. Stir up those seasonings, girl. Make sure you go around the edges. And and still there's some shrimp in there that's raw, so we want to definitely make sure that shrimp is cooked. Oh, we're getting to the part where it's almost time. All right, we're going to put a little more of this in there, which is your, remember it's your shrimp, your, sh your, sh your shrimp stock. All right. So now we're going to add one cup of breadcrumbs, and we're going to work those breadcrumbs in. Now we're working in our dressing, we're getting our dressing together. Some breadcrumbs, work them in. Your breadcrumbs is what's going to bind all this together. So remember that. Mm-hmm. This smells so divine. If y'all can smell it through this video. But if you follow the instructions, honey, you'll have the same meal. I'm missing one thing. I have to make sure I let y'all know next time. But I don't cook with that, so I don't have it in my cabinet. All right. Guys, it's time to stuff them. I overcook. Do not overcook your bell peppers. I'm going to try to stuff it because my camera is about to go dead. So you basically you just stuff and stuff and stuff them just like that. And then when you get through stuffing them, we're going to put breadcrumbs on top of them. Mm-hmm. Just like that. You want to stuff them. Look at that. That looks so good. Yes. All right, guys. I got them stuffed. And I mean, when I say stuffed, I got them stuffed, like really stuffed. So now all I'm going to do is top it off with breadcrumbs and stick them in the oven. Let me do it like this because if not, I don't want to put too much. But you put a little breadcrumbs on it, just like that. And you put them in the oven for about uh, maybe 15 minutes, <clears throat> maybe 20, <clears throat> so they can tighten up. And that's it, guys. There you are. Thank you for watching this video on how to make New Orleans stuffed bell peppers. There are other ways you can make it. Mine's is ground meat and beef uh, stuffed in a bell pepper with um, the breadcrumbs on top. Um, any other uh, recipes you'd like to see me make? Hey, this was just as newest for me as it was as you guys watching it. So just to let you know. It, it was newest for me as it was for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button for your girl. Then I'll do more cooking videos. 
Mind you, it hurt my back, but it felt good. So thank you for staying in tune and watching this video. Hope you enjoy those bell peppers. Thank you. Bye. All right, guys. I'm going to see how this tastes. And uh, you guys see me. Now, basically, look at that. Mm, see that shrimp and that beef? That's how you eat it. That looks so good. I just got to take a picture. Mahani, can you press this picture for me? That looks good. No picture for the camera. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's see how this is going to be. Try to turn it on. My phone going dead. Okay. Let's see how this tastes. Here we go. Mm -hmm. That is good. Mm -hmm. It tastes so good. Mm -hmm. It is the bomb. It's very good. Wow. Jada. Okay, she's tasting hers. Let's see what she thinks. Oh, you gonna eat the oh that's gonna eat the I'm just gonna get her mouth. Shake a yes or no. You like it? I know that's too light, guys. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Alright guys, it was a success. The stuff, New Orleans stuff bell peppers are the bomb. They are so good. Make sure you do again like, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. If you want to see me do more cooking channels, 